In this video, we will show how to configure SSL VPN split tunnel for remote users accessing the corporate network using the 40 client, but accessing the internet without going through the SSL VPN tunnel. We assume that 40 client is already installed on the user's computer. We will create a user entry for the remote user and add the user to the group. Next, we will configure VPN portal. After that, we will configure SSL VPN settings and create SSL VPN firewall policy. First, we are going to configure VPN user on the 40 gate side. Go to user and device user definition to create a local user. It's recommended that you add a two factor authentication for enhanced security. For more details on using a two factor authentication, please refer to the following video. In the production environment, you are more likely to add a group rather than a single user. We already created the user group under the user and device user groups and added our user to it. For networks with many users, consider integrating your user configuration with existing authentication servers through LDAP, Radius or 40 Authenticator. Next configure the SSL VPN portal. Go to VPN, SSL VPN portals. There are three pre-configured portals you can choose from. You can also create a new VPN portal. The pre-configured portals differ based on the type of SSL VPN access. Full access contains two modes, web mode and tunnel mode enabled. Tunnel access means that web mode is disabled and the tunnel mode is enabled. Web mode has web mode enabled and tunnel mode disabled. For more details on each of these options, please refer to SSL VPN video on our video site. We will choose the tunnel access. By default, split tunneling is enabled based on policy destination. Next, configure the SSL VPN settings. For listening on the interfaces, select the Internet Facing interface of the 40 gate. Set the listening port based on your settings. Notice that the IP address here is showing the internal IP address of the Internet Facing interface. The remote user will actually be using an external IP mapped to this one. Choose a certificate for the server certificate. The default is Fortinet Factory. It's highly recommended that you purchase a server certificate from a trusted CA to allow remote users to connect to SSL VPN with confidence. Specify the mode for assigning client settings. In authentication portal mapping, set the portal to the portal you created earlier. By default, all users and user groups will see the same portal. Configure SSL VPN firewall policy. Go to policy and objects, firewall policy. Fill in the firewall policy name. Incoming interface is the Internet Facing Interface. You will select SSL VPN Tunnel Interface. This is a virtual interface bound to all listening physical interfaces you specified in the VPN settings. Choose the outgoing Internet Facing Interface. Set the source. It's mandatory to add a specific user or user group to the source field. Set the destination. You can restrict the destination to a specific internal subnet. Set schedule to always service to all and action to accept. Enable antivirus, web filter and IPS profiles to protect VPN traffic. Fill out the rest of the settings as needed. Enable this policy and click OK. Now we have configured the SSL VPN settings on the 40 gate. Before we show the remote user connection, let's show how to configure remote user VPN settings in the EMS profile. Go to the Endpoint Profiles, select Remote Access, edit an existing profile or add a new profile. Go to VPN Tunnel section and choose Add Tunnel. Provide a name and settings for the VPN Tunnel. And save the changes. EMS will apply this profile to the 40 client group you created. Now that we have added SSL VPN settings to the EMS profile, Let's go to the endpoint. The profile change will be detected on the 40 client side. The end user settings for the SSL VPN are already in place, so the end user doesn't have to configure them. Now the user can connect using their login credentials, which were configured earlier on the 40 gate. Check the SSL VPN monitor on the dashboard network. Here we can see our active SSL VPN user. And this concludes our video. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please go to the video.fortinet.com.